Hey everyone and welcome back to another battle report. This time it's my Soviets versus some Germans, 1000 points, a point defense mission, and conflict 47. Uh, here are my forces. I've mixed them up a little bit. Went with the uh, T-34 ZP. Um, trying to test that out. I had it painted up. Thought I'd give it a go. And um, also added in, I believe it was the tank hunter team and then trying to double down with the light machine guns so we'll see how they work out my opponent's forces he uh, he decided to mix things up having dealt with my heavy infantry uh, before he needed he thought he needed to bring in some big guns so he added uh, the light howitzer um, added in some Panzerfaust and um, hopefully that'll help him uh, this time the deployment in the point defense. This was uh, the initial setup. This is the left flank. Um, my opponent's right, my left there. That's the first defending point. The second and third going through. This was the Toten Corp light howitzer. This is the uh, S the assault rifle assault squad. His forward observer, the spinny mech, and then the squad with. Uh, rifles and LMGs, and the LT is hiding back in here. Pre-turn one, I got some bombardments. Here's a photo of the uh, very nicely painted bomber that will not be making an appearance. My precision strike uh, Russian artillery was kind enough to remove the air observer here, so um, that won't be an issue for me to deal with, um, but I thought it would be a shame that uh, this uh, this air uh, rift tech uh, bomber was painted up and didn't get at least a little show time. Continuing the bad news for the Germans, the Spinny uh, suffered a direct hit and uh, was destroyed. And then, uh, as you can continue to see, there's this just a spattering of pins throughout. Again, uh, a full line of the deployment. You see one less uh, air observer and just. Yeah, I just got really lucky and just peppered everything here um, in that pre, uh, pre game uh, bombardment. So on to turn one. So my left flank uh, advances up. This is the inexperienced rifle squad and the, um, the tank. So the, the goal here, as I thought, was he had that one squad on the, um, on the left there. I did forget that he decided to hold his... Falcon Squad and Shrek Wolfen in reserve, so I, in hindsight, I probably should apply uh, a little more effort on the left. But my thought being is the the T-34 would be able to lay down enough support via either pins or just machine gun fire to to hold down and neutralize that flank, allowing the um, Soviets to or the inexperienced squad to kind of just walk on and hold it. In the middle there, my uh, sniper takes a shot at the light howitzer. The howitzer, uh, not pictured, but attempts to, his return fire is attempting to zero in. The regular uh, SMG squad advances. So we know um, he's got the zombies off screen here that I'm going to have to deal with, but historically we've, we've had pretty good success uh, SMGs and two zombies. So I, I thought, well, you know, dance with what brought you, keep working it. And uh, so I thought, all right, let me push these guys up and see if I can use them to clear off that right objective. Uh, running up the the center here, this is kind of a deploying tactic. I knew these, my six-man Siberian Terrors are quick enough um, that I can really get them wherever they need to be. So running them up the center, my thought was kind of hold his forces in the middle there and um, or at least start putting them uh, uh, pushing up the middle so he has to keep items there and then these guys are quick enough that I can redeploy them to the left or the right um, without any issue my uh, tank hunter team uh, I forgot a guy but that's actually a two man team uh, they came on that was kind of just a delaying deployment uh, action commander comes up and then his uh, that's my veteran squad with light machine guns they're moving into the cover. The idea being is that they would be able to fire from that cover to 
up to this objective or to the left here at the center objective you kind of see it here the Germans the zombies advance the uh, go ahead and try to clear off some pins the rifles the assault rifle squad rallies the LMG squad rival rallies clears off all theirs and on to two so just a kind of little board status here you see um, I brought the second larger squad on again just trying to give an appearance of pushing up where I had cover so the idea being is there push up here and then depending on how things are going either swing this way or swing this way um, if I'm victorious uh, in the push or just kind of hold them down and just keep a lot of his forces pinned here allowing my left and right to uh, do their thing and, and take those objectives for the win. The tank comes up just fires off um, does a couple pins nothing else the light howitzer uh, not shown here um, fires and then clears off my sniper team my veteran squad advances to the cover I mentioned the idea being is okay I, I can I can fire into here and um, I don't think I deployed them but I wouldn't be able to see them but I could at least fire into here and if they go into cover fire there anti-tank team just doing their thing just plopping shots with the spinning mech being killed in the bombardment um, their things to do kind of dropped off significantly AT team uh, you see them they kind of they were off here swooping up here again just another squad I thought would might be able to sneak on the objective uh, without the spinny there to worry about um, all the Panzerfaust, capture Panzerfaust and all that have a uh, bit redundant LAG, uh, LMG, or I'm sorry, yeah, LT and the regular uh, SMG squad advances. Uh, we're getting ready to take him, take on some zombies. Siberian one, I uh, think one of my additional errors is I pushed them up here a little too fast. I probably should have jumped into cover, either into cover or just behind here. But again, um, they're acting as a spearhead slash bait. on the right, uh, my right opponent's left, zombies are pushing in, um, we kind of, we'll see how this plays out, we've, we've seen how it's played out the past two times in the open, but we'll see. He's taken the bait, he's moved off the objective, I say take the bait, um, he's responding, so he's moved off the objective here, and he's looking to, um, start popping off some shots, it does a little bit more successful than I hoped. I thought I had it um, to where a majority of this, you know, I was in cover and not a lot of his guys would be able to fire, but he was able to, uh, with the five or six guys that were, were able to fire, um, really lay into them and, and kill half the squad. Uh, they're fine, but yeah, that, that hurt. Um, my larger squad runs up for cover. The uh, an experienced squad gets into cover. Hopefully, maybe pop a couple shots over there, but they're experienced, uh, inexperienced, so they're garbage, but they're free. Falcon First Reserves come in. Uh, to, again, um, kind of the plan. Um, they are counter deploying my, my center area here, so at least I'm, I'm bringing this stuff in now so I can, uh, can actually uh, respond to it versus it coming in at the much later in the game and I'm not able to really respond because my stuff is generally slower and the rocket troops fire into the terrors do some pins top of three just the board state a little blurry but you can see my left flank pushing up I'm feeling at this time I'm feeling pretty good I got two infantry squads and a tank versus just one squad um, feeling a little anxious here. I mean, you got the assault rifle squad, an LT, and the um, Rocketeers come on there versus these two squads, and I've already my my smaller squad's already been reduced to half. So it's it's getting. Uh, I'm just hoping they they take a little bit longer to die, allowing my right flank to 
you know, this is all clear minus the zombies, so if I can, between SMGs and the veterans and my, L, or my LT, clear those guys out, you know, this is kind of wide open for me. Just a close-up. Oh, and I forgot the commissar is providing the motivation. Just kind of a little close-up on, uh, on the fun here. The calm before the storm on the right. Uh, we're going to really see how it, uh, how everything pans out. And Germans got the first pull, and send the job, uh, zombies in. So I was able to pass my horror check, and opt to stand and shoot, and then finish off the rest with point blank fire. So we, uh, my opponent and I, had a little discussion on this uh, during and and shortly thereafter of. You know, he's the zombies are good. You know, the times that he've, he's used them before, when when they were in cover or had some support, um, they've been great. Uh, the past two games, he um, he sent them in without support, kind of just as a um, on their own, and they've just not held up, um, particularly to SMG fire. Um, we're just throwing out so many shots at such a close range that um, we're able to mow through them. If this was say a rifle squad or something. Um, It'd probably be a different different story, but given the missions and, and the amount of drops that I have to him, I can kind of deploy accordingly or send these guys basically to counter the zombies. So we've we've discussed on uh, uh, some of the ways that he can say support, even by just putting a pin or two on these guys before sending the zombies in would probably greatly shift um, the combat to his favor. But this time they didn't have support and, and were mowed down. Uh, with first with a stand and shoot and then point blank. The uh, center uh, the state of the table and LT decides to snap two. So first action is bringing the assault squad up and promptly mowing down the, the guys in the open here. LT um, to A get some additional shots and, and also help bolster his right flank. Starts moving uh, his LT over and Rocketeers jump in and decide to light up the Siberian Terrors, killing two in the process. We went down to try to preserve uh, at that range. We just, yeah, it was it was silly. We just had to had to hit the dirt to try to survive. And board status. So these guys were hanging out, waiting for um, they were on ambush, waiting for these guys to approach. Um, luckily I was able to get a pull first, come up, hit him with the, um, the ZP and was able to put some pins on it so minimize the, the damage on the squads. And this is the time uh, when I realized I forgot about the Shrek Wolfen and they come in from reserves. And top of four. So I get the first pull and decide to fire uh, ZP, try to get those pins on there, and advance up the LT, and you didn't see it in the previous, but he was able to, LT was able to um, fire and finish off the, the howitzer there. We were uh, in this flank, uh, so we were able to Either we're in the flank or we piled up, got enough sixes to get through the gun shield. The uh, veteran squad going to plan, uh, have the rocket troops here to fire at, so they, they fire in and uh, put a pin on them, but that defense six kind of stops anything. But it paid off, thank you vets. So with the one pin, uh, they failed the uh, order check, so my Siberian terrors were free to live another day. And assault rifles, um, with that failure, the assault rifle comes up, tries to fire in, but they just they just whiff. They hit him, but haven't didn't uh, didn't kill anybody. And seeing the amount of pins and everything's going on here, my commissar decides to bravely advance, um, and just fires pistol in there to put on another pin and just you know lead the troops to victory. And 
the German LT not letting the stand, decides to advance onto the hill, and promptly punishes the Commissar for his foolishness. Daka Daka. The, uh, with the, pin, the pins, it's our turn, uh, so we whiff our uh, order check and go down. Then we start the top of five. So we're moving our, uh, yep, so the German squad, um, seeing how close they are just and trying to clear the way for the Shrek Wolf when they back up just to park themselves on the objective to to ensure that um, I can't just sneak somebody on there if they missed it somehow. And in the process, they decide to fire into the advancing squad and take take some of them out for their foolishness. T-34 gets to operate and fires into the... Um, manages to finish off the squad here and, and pile a bunch of pins. Uh, I think at this point they're up to like four or five. The assault squad advances... Yep, um, and I think they, yeah, they only, f I think they only killed a guy here. Um, then our tears, they rally off. Yep, so the tears rally off uh, all the pins, just trying to, assuming they don't die, at least make it to where they can respond in some some fashion here. And on the right flank, with the zombies cleared, my SMG squad advances up. LT uh, keeps on advancing. Push, push for that center objective, and veteran squad continues to pepper the rock, uh, rocketeers or the Falcon squad here. LT moves up to assist the uh, Shrek Wolfen uh, with any morale checks and stuff they need to be. So I'm trying to, knowing that time's running out, I just gotta, yeah, these guys are here, they're still alive, but I gotta, I gotta get on the objective. Um, again, just trying to apply pressure on all sides. Just a oh, AT guy just hanging out, firing in, but he's not really. He, they did, he didn't do anything this game, really. Um, in hindsight, I should have, with the spinny being down, started running him up one of the ways, either here to kind of maybe see about sneaking him onto objective, or just have him as another team running off this way to capture the uh, the left. But hindsight being 2020. So seeing my push here. Uh, with the LT, he jumps back the Falcon squad and promptly eliminates the threat. So, yeah, here's you see my squad uh, advancing, pushing forward, aiming for the objective. So the Wolves, uh, <laughs> um, good play on my opponent's part here. So he moved, even with the four or five um, pins, he moves his uh, first LT, I believe, up to assist with the morale um, check and passing the order. Uh, that way he can save them a rally, because if he had to rally, I would have been able to, you know, either sh assault them myself with the, um, or just continue to fire at them. But thanks to his uh, moving up there, he passes and assaults, and even with the pins, he just murders. Uh, they fail their horror check, and he just he, he wipes the squad out. So you can see my uh, squad anti-tank squad here. They're really my only hope against a four-man Shrek Wolfen, Wolfen and a first LT and Henchman, so not looking the best. Oh, yeah, my blurry squad here. Okay, so yeah, we, uh, so with the Falcon squad jumping back to secure the objective, the assault squad here decides to, with me being in cover, um, decides to just engage in a firefight so we attempt to, uh, we pass our order check to fire back, or maybe the other way. Either I I fired into him or he fired into me. Either way. Um, so we just engage in a, a SMG tickle fight and, and promptly just wipe each other out. Uh, except this lone guy, which I imagine, um, you know, he tripped or something <laughs> on the way to doing, to, you know, so he's a couple steps behind and every, everybody in the front just gets mowed down in front of him. Um, but he lives to tell the tale. My, uh, yep, yeah, I start sweeping them over, um, firing, uh, plan is to just 
do what I can with the tank here to fire and pin down these guys and then hopefully send my anti-tank squad in to capture the objective. LT decides to remedy that um, by, yeah, they just mow them out uh, down and then he rallies the wolves here to prevent them from running off because they, they were, they had high, high enough uh, pins on them that it was, it was actually about to, I think, auto, auto break them. And we continue to fire on the rocket, uh, rocket troops with the veteran squad. Hindsight, um, should have done, done a little more with them. Uh, once I saw how the fights were going here, I should have moved them up to apply more pressure. But again, uh, hindsight 2020. Rocket troops rally their pins off. And uh, I know I can't capture it with the tank, but I at least want to make sure uh, to inflict ma maximum casualties, so I just keep firing into there. And, you know, mildly, I did kill two of them and, and uh, pile on some pins, but. Again, this is just more of a, a moral victory at this point. And that's the end game. Uh, board state, you see my happy L, uh, veteran squad hanging out here. And uh, I have one objective to his two. So conclusion, it was a draw. Um, Germans hold their center and right. Soviets uh, hold their left. So I killed uh, five units whereas um, he killed seven. So um, hindsight being uh, what it is, I, I was a little wasteful with my units and um, you know, kind of throwing them in, in situations where, yes, um, it is only about the objective, but that doesn't mean um, you just throw your guys in willy-nilly. So I should have been a little bit smarter there. Um, my veterans, that is a six or eight man squad that, um, that would have really helped out by uh, putting pressure in the center after I realized that you know nothing's really happening there I should have just uh, been moving them up um, to, to put pressure on the center and hopefully that would have um, they would have either took and took fire um, and spared the uh, terrors um, so the terrors could have gone on and maybe say ran off to the left flank and uh, capture that for the win but Again, um, hindsight being 2020. And uh, another thing here is we, you know, definitely make sure to support your assault units. Um, you know, the the zombies they are nasty. Um, the first couple of times uh, my opponent rolled them out on me, they were they were devastatingly effective. Um, but then I think he also had a little bit better cho job of uh, did a better job of putting a pin or two on the the unit that they were assaulting um, prior to going in and I think um, these past two games kind of made that painfully apparent um, that that needs to be the case whether it's just the LT or a sniper or something just just put a pin on them and um, yeah let the let the zombies loose after that point but all in all a great game and uh, hopefully you enjoyed thanks